Hello guys, today I want to talk about Laravel factories and specifically about how to generate unique data if you need something. So a typical Laravel example by default in user factory is this one. So to generate an email, which is as you probably know unique in the database, it has this faker unique. So in this video I will show you three things. What happens if we don't use unique? Second, how unique actually works and we will try to generate unique for other fields and then what to do if your unique is not on one field, but for example, for belongs to many relationship, unique pair, how to implement that. Let's go. Let's start by running the default example. So I've created database seeder, which has user seeder. Inside of that user seeder, I generate thousand users according to this factory default by Laravel. If we run in the terminal PHP artisan migrate with seed, it should seed a thousand users. And in the database, we have something like this. So thousand rows, everything is good. Now, what happens if we remove the unique here? Let's do exactly that. And let's try to rerun migrate with seeds. And we will likely, yes, we will likely, we got an error of duplicate entry of trying to generate the same email for another record in the database. So that's why if you have unique key on the database level, you must use unique here before any so-called faker identifier, which is name, email, or whatever else. Now let's return that to how it was, unique, and how does it work under the hood? If you dive deeper into the faker library, which is not from Laravel, it's faker PHP library, I've landed on a class called unique generator, and this is the logic. So basically there's uniques array, which is filled in, and then what it does is good old PHP loop do while, and then the condition, or in fact two conditions, the main condition is if array key exists, so if the element is repeating, and also there's max retries, maximum retries reached. So for example, if your list of values is 10 and you are asking to generate 100 elements, it will throw an error. And by default, that max retries, by the way, is 10,000. Another few examples of what can we generate with unique, I've added a few fields in the database table, username and position. So username is just any username and position should be from one to 1000. For example, it's a race or users must have specific order, for example, for queuing something. And in here, if we have the condition in the database, we also need to add unique to the faker. And if we try to generate that, migrate fresh seed, it should succeed. Yep, we have a successful seeder. And in the database, if we refresh, Scroll to the right, username and position. Position is unique. So if we order by that field, you can see that no duplicates among 1000 rows. But if, for example, we change that to 999, which means there's one more user than the options here, and we try to reseed, we get the error of maximum retries reached, the one that I've shown you just a minute ago. So these were the examples based on one field and you can use faker generators for various fields or just your array, for example. And the example of array will be used in a more complex situation. For example, you have a pivot table. So project user with unique key on both of them. So no user should belong to the same project twice and how to generate that. If you even don't have the model for the pivot table, so there's no way to describe the factory there. One way of doing that is not the only way. In the seeder of one of those tables, you should attach with belongs to many relationship random values from another table. And here's my example. So the project seeder, knowing that the user seeder was run before, so we get all the existing users, or in fact only their IDs, then we initialize the faker because we're outside of the factory, we are in the seeder directly. And then we call that factory to create 100 projects, we create, but then on each of them, we specify the function what to do with that project. Inside of that function, project comes by default as a parameter, and then we need to use outside variables like users and faker, and then we utilize belongs to many relationships, so project user attach, and then this is where magic happens. Faker has a function called random elements where you pass the array and how many elements do you want. For example, we want each project to have from one to three users, not necessarily the static amount. So you get random elements, then you get unique. So the result of all that statement is an array, which you pass to the attach function of belongs to many. And then if we add that project seeder here and we run the seeders again, PHP artisan migrate fresh seed, we should be good. And then in the project user pivot table, you can see the values of project 
and then one user, project, three users per project and stuff like that. And no duplications for the same user on each of the projects. So these are my tips on unique seeding with unique data. If you have any more tips or if you find something not correct in the video, shoot in the comments below. Also subscribe to the channel to keep watching daily videos because the channel is called Laravel Daily for a reason. See you guys in other videos.